The Court of Owls is watching. From inside of Gotham's walls. They lurk in every shadow. And they rule you. One and all. You knew. All along you knew and you never told Bruce about the threat to Gotham. When I was still part of the League, we observed the court's growth in Gotham. Now you can see the city's rotten core. They're mining something. Something that seems like it might come from a Lazarus pit. A foul substitute for the true miracle. A contaminated extract. For centuries, the court has been looking for a fountain of youth. Instead, they found the makings of undying monsters. Guess we know how the Talons are cooked up then. Thanks for that. But, why leave the court digging? Why not offer them a Lazarus pit? Then control them from the inside. Even in their current debased state, the League would never descend to such banality. And the Court's greed and corruption prevent them from ever mastering the secrets of the Lazarus Pits. You don't treat the Lazarus Pits any different than the Court. Oh, those are some harsh words. After all, your friend Jason benefited. What about what he wanted? Jason had no say in what you did to him. I suppose gratitude was too much to expect in exchange for another stab at life. You don't get to talk about gratitude right now, Talia. With Bruce gone, the court's operation grows. The League of Shadows will raise Gotham to the ground unless you silence the court. I know you, Talia. You just want us to get rid of the voice so you can do whatever you want. What's your endgame here? I'll do what I can to distract the League. And your path to the Court of Owls will be clear. Hey, Alfred, did the city records turn up anything? They didn't. According to the city permits, there's been no mining in Gotham City since the cauldron was completed. Judging from what we found last night, they've been digging down there for centuries. Hmm. Give this a listen, Alfred. Babs managed to repair some of the court voice recordings. Dionysium brought the Talons back to life. Sort of. Dionysium's basically weak as hell Lazarus pit water. Brings back motor functions. But free will's as good as gone. So what is a Talon exactly? Some kind of feral zombie assassin? We've all seen weirder shit. Maybe. Feral zombie? Sounds like Jason, all right. <laughs> I recognize a voice. The older woman is Constance Cobblepot, I'm fairly certain. And the others? More difficult to say. Maybe if I heard them in person. In person? Tim, put the waveforms on the screen. It's hard to find a match with all the damage and voice modulation. Maybe the matching system would have better luck if- We match what we have against the live voices. Fun, but how do we find these jackasses? Two words, Orchard Hotel. The Masquerade, the event of the season. This year's dedicated to Master Bruce. Gotham's rich, dress up and pretend they're humanitarians. I've been a few times. So it's Dirtbag Central. With so many of Gotham's elite together, security at the Masquerade would be tight. Finding out their plans first would give you an important advantage. I'll tweak our masks to record telescopic audio. If we can get a good vantage point, 
we may be able to put some faces to these mystery voices. Sounds like our kind of party. So, what do you think? This place is quite remarkable. It's certainly brighter than the Batcave. <laughs> I wish Bruce could see this. It's not the manor, but I think he'd like it. I know he would, because this is your home. No matter how hard we try, there's always more to do. But Bruce never gave up, and neither will we. Protecting Gotham is a difficult endeavor, one that Bruce knew you would face. So, he made sure that you would have everything you'd need to succeed. Of course he did. <laughs>